morning boys and girls i'm at school i came here to record the reading lesson and i thought you know i'm going to stay here and record this really special lesson today so i hope everybody watches it at the end of the lesson you get to paint okay all right so before we paint i want to share this really special book with you the reason it's so special is that this was made by my class a long time ago i couldn't even remember how long ago it was but luckily i had the date in the corner and it says by Mrs. Jenkins Kindergarten Class 1996 to 97. So I had to do the subtraction that was like 20, oh now I forgot already, 24 years ago? 24 years ago, I had the students in my class made this book and I honestly, I can still remember the kids too. Okay, so what we did is I read the story, it's a little poem, and then I let the kids paint a picture of their jack-o'-lantern and they made all sorts of different faces, okay? Instead of just making a smiley face, I asked them they, they could make a happy face or a sad face. So let's read the book and then we'll talk about the painting, okay? All right, and one reason I did it from here is because it's such a big book. These big books are hard to turn the pages, so I'm gonna do this and then I can uh, put it on the easel. Jack-o'-faces. Instead of jack-o'-lantern, it says jack-o'-faces. All right, when I turn the first page, it says, this is Jack O. Happy. Now, the name is still on here. There's Joey. Joey painted this. I remember Joey. And he painted an orange pumpkin with triangle eyes and nose and a really big happy face. So again, this is Jack O. Happy. This is Jack O. Sad. Okay, the girl uh, that painted this is Brooke. Now I fixed it up a little bit. So what she did is she did triangle eyes and uh, a triangle nose, and she did this kind of mouth, kind of a zigzag mouth. And then she put some teardrops, cause Jack is sad. And then I kind of put the eyelashes on there with a the marker later, okay? This is Jack O's sad. Whoops. Now you see him sleepy. The, the, the student that did this, her name was Danica. And so she did triangle eyes. It's kind of a triangle square and a big open mouth because when you're sleepy, you do this, right? <gasps> and then I drew the eyelashes. I drew them down because when your eyes are closed, your eyelashes are down. Okay, let's do this one again. Now you see him sleepy. Now you see him mad. This is my mad face. Hey, Grady, I think it was you the other day. How do you make a mad face? That's a pretty good mad face, right? So Joel did two triangle, triangle eyes, a circle nose, and then he just went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, kind of like the letter M, a couple of them, right, or W. All right, now you see him mad. Do you guys notice the exclamation mark? That means when we read it, we don't go, now you see him mad. We go, now you see him mad. He's really mad. I wonder why he's mad. <gasps> oh no! This is Jack in pieces small. Now, you know what? I, I couldn't cut apart one of the kids' pumpkins after they painted it, so this was one of mine. I painted the pumpkin and then I cut it apart into pieces. This is Jack in pieces small. Somebody cut the pumpkin apart. I wonder why. But in a pie, he's best of all. Now we know why. They cut the pumpkin apart because they're gonna make a pumpkin pie. Hey, I want to read it again because we kind of, I kept stopping and talking about the jack-o'-lantern, so we didn't really get the flow of it. Now, what I want you guys to do is when I read it this time, can you guys make the faces with your own face? That's what we do in the classroom, and I love it. It's fun to see the, the funny faces. This is Jacko Happy. Everybody making a happy face? This is Jacko Sad. Now you see him sleepy. Oh, now you see him mad. This is Jack in pieces small, but in a pie, he's best of all. I just love that book. Hey, I think I'm going to take this book home and I'll maybe read it again, maybe a few times after we do the calendar. Now I'm going to step over here and I have something really fun to show you. This is what you guys get to do today, okay? So I had all these samples uh, because every time I do this activity with the kids, I, um, I make a sample so and then I save it. And I usually cut them out and laminate them and then they last forever. I mean, I've had these probably for 24 years. All right, so what these are, these are pumpkins that are painted with faces on them, right? So they're jack-o'-lanterns. So you can see this one's pretty round. It's got two triangle eyes, triangle nose, and a happy face. This is Jacko Happy. Ha! 
I think this one might be mad, huh? So triangles, this triangle's upside down, and then it just zigzag, zigzag. That kind of looks like a mad face. What about this one? I don't know if that one's supposed to be mad or sad. Um, I think mad, I think mad. And I'll show you why, okay? Because this one down here is super sad. Now the mouth is going down like the other one, but this one has some teardrops. It's crying is so sad, okay? This is a sleepy one. Now I painted all of these. Um, so I made kind of eyelashes going down and a nose. And then when you're sleepy, you have to make your mouth open because you're going, oh, right? And here's another, uh, oh gosh, is that, that must be sad, right? And then this one is another happy, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, let's see if this works here. I went ahead and painted yeah, I'm, I'm setting the tripod on the table. I think that's going to work. I'd have to go like that. I went ahead and um, painted two orange pumpkins. So I did this ahead of time because I needed them to dry. So parents, um, there's, there, there's lots of optional things you can do because I know not everybody has that nice white paper. But if you have it, that would be great. This is the, I think that's 11 by 18, like that. If you want to use 8.5 by 11, that's perfectly fine. If, in fact, if you do that, then it fits in your memory book, right? So if you make a smaller one, it'll fit in your memory book. If you make a big one, it's kind of nice to decorate your house. You can hang it in your window. So I went ahead and with a paintbrush on white paper, I started with orange paint. Um, and then what I did, I'm just gonna pretend I have the paintbrush here. Um, I always kind of do the outline first. And sometimes when we do it in the classroom and I have other helpers, they'll kind of help with that part. You know, getting the shape of it. They'll say, do you want it big or little? Do you want it going this way or this way, horizontal or vertical? You can decide how you want to hold your paper. Do you want it tall and, tall and skinny? Do you want it short and fat? So talk about the size. And then once you get that outline on there, then the kids can paint the middle and just up and down, up and down. A lot of times when kids paint with a paintbrush, they don't fill it all in. And I just, you have to keep saying, we don't want to see any white, fill the whole thing in. Uh, one year we did a art, it was a really good art lesson. And, uh, but we, we didn't turn them into jack-o'-lanterns, but we started out with a regular orange. And then we mixed an orange with a tiny bit of red and then another orange with some yellow. So we made sort of three shades of yellow like we have crayons, and the kids would uh, started with the orange and then they kind of painted um, the lines and kind of mixed the colors, and they were beautiful. But for just the jack-o'-lantern one, I think regular orange is just fine. Okay, now I put a brown stem on here. You may have noticed in the book they were green stems. Of course, they start out green when the pumpkin's green, but then when they get ripe, they turn orange, and then before you cut them, the stem is brown. So brown's probably better. If you wanna use green, you can. Now I have a little cup with some yellow paint in it. When uh, This is tempera paint. So again, if you guys don't have tempera paint, okay, that's the kind we use at school. Uh, it's washable, that's nice. Uh, you could use watercolor, okay? And if you don't have that, and you wanna just color a pumpkin with crayon, that's fine too. But Painting's a lot more fun, I think. But when you do this, you gotta make sure you wipe your paintbrush off, okay? Because if it drips, you could ruin your whole face. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's just make a happy one because that's probably the most common. And so you, um, I, I like to start with the nose. And when I draw people and everything, I start with the nose. I'm gonna make a triangle, but you'll notice it's an upside down triangle. Now, if you want a circle nose, go right ahead. The reason I start with the nose in the middle is because your nose is in the middle of your face. Once you get the nose, then you know where the mouth goes and you know the eyes go above. If you get the nose too high, then your eyes have to go up here. If you get the nose too low, then your, your mouth is down there. So it's always good when you draw anything with the face, start with the nose, okay? Uh, not gonna put ears or anything on there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut triangle eyes, but again, that's up to you. So look, it's like an A. Slant to the left, slant to the right, straight on the bottom, kind of fill it in. Now, um, you do want, I think I said this, you do want to paint the orange first and then, you know, lay it outside and let it dry. Mine was only out there for 20, 30 minutes and it dried, okay? Because if you if you don't dry it first, then the, the yellow's not very vibrant or bright because, you know, it mixes with the wet orange. So let the orange dry first. Okay, let's do a happy face. So I'm gonna first do this. Looks like I'm making a big U, uh, upside down rainbow. And then I can put this on there like that. Okay, now I did two, just so I could do two different faces. So how about we do, let's try some, let's just try some circle eyes, why not, right? Circle eyes, circle eyes. Okay, maybe I'll even make a, 
a rectangle nose. You know, they don't always have to be triangle, right? Now we have a jacko happy. We could either make a jacko mad, a jacko sad, jacko sleepy. How about a jacko mad? All right, so I'm gonna start um, like this, like I would an M down and then down, like this, zigzag. Kind of like you're making the Z's, but zigzag. I think he looks mad. All right. Okay, now now you can tell the difference between the ones I just did and the ones that are laminated. Once this is all dry, parents, if you have a, a nice big felt marker, if you outline all of that, it just makes it look uh, so much brighter and vibrant. Okay, so see the difference? Once it's dry, if you outline it, it's going to look a lot better. So what I want you guys to do, now that you know the story, I want everybody to try to either paint uh, watercolor, tempera paint, or even draw a pumpkin and color it. But I want you to make it either happy, mad, sad, sleepy. Did we get them all? Okay, well, we're going to think about it. Or whatever else you can think of. Okay, so let's just do the poem real quick and we'll remember. This is Jacko Happy. You can put a happy face. This is Jacko Sad. Now you see him sleepy. <gasps> now you see him mad. <sighs> this is Jack in pieces small, but in a pie, he's best of all. I was rubbing my belly, but you couldn't see me. Okay, make me a Jacko faces, and um, I really want to see a picture of it, okay? And then um, I'm going to try to get pages to you guys because I have a cute little Jacko Happy book. Uh, I just have a really busy week, but I'm going to try my best to try to figure out how to get some pages to you guys. I want to send some Halloween, some fall, and some November stuff home, okay? If I don't get it done before Halloween, um, that's okay. We'll do the fall and the November. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Happy Friday.